Poverty is about much more than income. It's about kind of the relationship. Whether or not a certain level of income results in poor living depends on many different factors. And these include not just things like geography and where you live, but whether you have disability or not, the, your asset levels, uh, whether or not you have health insurance. Some of these can be taken into account by looking at expenses, but you can't just kind of reduce all these down to income. Poverty is really a multidimensional phenomenon, and we need a more multidimensional measure uh, to, to get at that. Um, what happens if we don't address these too low and too narrow problems? I think the fundamental thing is you end up with a picture of poverty that is fundamentally out of focus, that's blurry or inaccurate or doesn't really capture a true picture of, of what poverty and lack of basic economic security uh, means. And one major problem is you end up with a measure that's under-inclusive. It excludes the vast majority of Americans who suffer from economic deprivation and hardship in the United States. You can see this actually now with the current poverty measure and food insecurity. Most people who are food insecure in the United States have incomes over the poverty line, and they'll likely have incomes over the supplemental poverty line. So we're basically kind of, it's almost like we're taking an extreme close-up and not seeing the whole picture when you have these sort of very low measures. So I think we really need to kind of address these two issues. So what's the solution? I think the, the fundamental solution, and it's a conceptual one actually, getting back to this conceptual point, is we have to move beyond the idea that you can just have a single measure, one sort of ideal measure. You know, Lester Thoreau in a, in a Brookings uh, document from the 1960s called the idea of a single poverty measure a utopian idea. It still is. It's also a very bad idea. What you need is two or three core measures of poverty that get at the different uh, aspects. Um, so instead of a single income-only poverty measure, I think what we need is a framework. <laughs> for measuring poverty and basic economic security. We should have two or three core measures. It shouldn't be some big data dump. Uh, some of these measures should address the too low problem. Ideally, I'd have a measure that's tied to uh, uh, median income or some other sort of something that gets at kind of a very low level of income and not just an extremely low one. And then also we need um, some sort of measure of basically deprivation, a direct measure of deprivation, a non-monetary measure of deprivation, something that gets at the various forms of kind of concrete deprivation that people think of when they think of uh, poverty.